describe because a lot of this toxic discourse has been imported into India. Can you give some examples of that? So part three, part one is the discourse and, and who produces it and all of that, the Marxism inside, the critical race theory, caste theory, all that. And yeah. part two is the hard word as the snake nest, the incubator, which is, which, which is being funded by our own people, ironically. And then part three is uh, all of this reflects in India. Yes. Uh, Harvard exports its liberal arts to Ashoka University, for example. Uh, there is a, Azim Premji has a university that is very aligned with these, these movements. Uh, Tata Institute of Social Sciences, TIS, brings a lot of social sciences models that are developed in the United States. Uh, Godrej Culture Labs. So there are a large number of uh, establishments in India that we have discussed in our book where the model of social sciences is not based on Indian ideas. The liberal arts is not based on the metaphysics that is a Vedic metaphysics, but Western metaphysics, Western uh, ideas, which are basically Marxist ideas of society, ideas of class struggle, ideas of minorities, racism, and so on. So whatever, uh, whatever is the latest fashion in the West that is uh, legitimized by Harvard with the help of our billionaires, then gets exported uh, to Indian uh, re Indian establishments that are very proud uh, to be aligned with this. Uh, Ashoka University is very proudly saying that we are the Harvard of India. Okay, so they are the Harvard of India. Absolutely correct. They are the Harvard of India. So the good, the bad, the ugly, all part of it. Harvard has some good things. If Indians were to uh, engage Harvard on STEM, the technology, the medicine, uh, the engineering, you know, that Harvard is phenomenal in physics, in all sorts of technologies. And if India were to say we're going to fund that and not fund their human rights and social justice, that would be great. And that's what China is doing. China is sucking knowledge out of Harvard and other places like that, which are technology, which are going to make China great. And they're not, they don't want at all China to deal with, I mean, sorry, Harvard to deal with Chinese uh, domestic affairs. Uh, they don't want social justice, human rights, uh, what's happening with LGBTQ, what's happening with minorities in Tibet or in, uh, you know, all these different provinces, Hong Kong, wherever. Uh, they don't want that to be the discourse at Harvard and Harvard is obeying them. Harvard obeys what China tells them to. But in India's case, the Indians do not set the agenda at Harvard. So once this is all uh, established at Harvard, it's franchised into India. And so Indian universities are doing this, taking this over. Another thing that's happening is Harvard has its people in policy making positions and committees at Niti Aayog, which is the central planning commission in India. That's the government planning commission in India. And they have Harvard faculty there. And the Harvard faculty wearing one hat, very patriotic, trying to be helping India in public policy on water or energy or whatever, you know, sounds very nice. And I'm sure they're doing good work also. But on the other hand, the same person is wearing this other hat in, in, in the United States in Harvard, uh, having all these conferences uh, with ultra left people being nurtured. So mm -hmm. our book exposes that. It says that, and we are naming names, by the way, we are not afraid to name names and we are more than happy to sit down and have discussions with them in an amicable way. And if we are wrong, we are wrong. We will correct ourselves and apologize. But we would also like them to know what our ammunition is what our data is, because we have, in this book, we have over 1,600 endnotes. It's a 900-page book almost, 1,600 endnotes, and more than 400 references in the bibliography. So it's a highly researched and referenced book. And we are more than happy to have people take it apart and give us their view, and we'll sit down with them and, and debate. <music> Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanavad. Namaskar.